Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will show you guys how to change the icon, start screen, and start button icons on your PS Vita games. So right here, I have Doom, and the icon for it, I just don't really like. It just looks pretty bad. I don't really mind the start icon or the background icon, but I will be changing all of them anyway. So yeah, you basically um, change it on the VPK before you install it, and then that is pretty much how you manage to do it. But you will need a program to do this over on your PC. So if you guys want to get this working, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and open up Vita Shell, press select, connect to your PS Vita to your PC, and I will show you guys what to do next. Over on your PC, I will leave a link in the description to the PS Vita VPK editor. So it hasn't been updated in about two years, but it still works um, pretty good. It does, you know, what ex exactly what you want it to do. So if you guys want to get this, all you want to do is scroll down and you want to choose your operating system. So I'm using Windows. I'm going to get VPK editor version 1.2 for Windows. So I'm just going to click on this and the zip file will begin downloading. So once it has finished downloading, you want to go to your downloads folder or wherever you save the file and just find it. So here is mine. Once we find it, we want to right click the zip file and just select extract here. Once it's extracted, we can just delete the old zip file. Now get your VPK. Here is mine, Chocolate Doom. I'm just going to right click, select copy, right click and then select paste. We want to have two of them. We need the original and then we need the backup. So with the backup, we want to right click, go down and click on properties. At the top where it says .vpk, you want to change that to .zip, so ZIP, and now just click on OK. Then just click on Yes, and then once you right click and refresh, it's going to change into a zip file for us. So now we can double click on the zip file, and we want to take out three files from the zip file. So double click into this folder, we need the icon, so let's just drop that out. And in the live area contents, we also need the startup and the background. You should find three pictures, so a background picture, that small picture that's on the icon when you tap on start, and then the actual bubble icon itself. So we have all three of them right here, so we can edit them. So once we've got these three pictures, we can actually delete the zip file because we don't actually need this anymore. Now you can edit these pictures with paint.net, um, Photoshop, anything you want. What I like to do is just select all of them, right click and copy. And then I like to open up maybe something like Microsoft PowerPoint. So as you can see, I already have some pictures in here. So if I just paste these in, basically what I did was got some other pictures and just sized them down to the exact sizes. So as you can see, I've got my icon here. I've got my star icon, which is this one. And I've made it sure they're all exactly the same size and I liked all of these pictures. So I just got these off Google Images. It's really simple, I'll show you what to do right now. So if you just go over, just open up a new tab, and you can literally just type anything in, and maybe a game, maybe like, let's just search up Doom. So let's go with Doom logo. And I can pretty much just find anyone. So maybe I like the look of this one and this one. Right click copy, go back to your PowerPoint, right click paste, and you just resize it. Um, down to the original logo size. So obviously for this one, that would be perfectly fine. But since I've already got one I want, which is this one, and it's exactly the same size as this, I'm going to delete the original, get this one, right click and click save picture as. Now if your picture isn't displaying, it's because it's set as a PNG. So we're going to select here and we're going to select PNG. We're then going to find it and just click save. It's gonna say, do you want to overwrite it? Yes. Let's do exactly the same thing for this, like. Um, start logo kind of thing, save this one, this one says PNG, startup, let's save that, overwrite it, and then let's delete this, and let's also do it with our brand new fire background, so let's just select PNG down here, and let's overwrite this one as well. Okay, so that is literally it for your pictures. We've got three brand new pictures. Now we can open up VPK Editor. We need to start the .exe, and now we can begin customizing it. So first of all, it wants us to select our VPK, so we're going to click on the button, and let's just choose our original, since we deleted the backup. Now we want to change all of the icons, so we're going to choose this one first, so click on it, um, select PNG, and then just choose your new icon. Let's do it for the background as well. Select PNG, choose your new background image, and then exactly the same for the logo. It's fairly simple. And then once you've got your three new items in, your game icon, your live area background, and your live area icon, we can click on save. 
Now it wants us to give it a new name. We are going to rename it to Chocolate Doom, maybe just like um, updated or something or patched, um, whatever you want to call it. And then we're just going to click on enter. So now we can close out of this, go back to our downloads folder, and here is our new version. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this across to our PS Vita. So now we can just copy across the updated VPK onto our PlayStation Vita and then we can install it and see if it works. So let's just simply drag and drop this across to the root of our PS Vita. And now we can go back onto it and install it and let's see if the icons and everything else have updated. Okay, so back on your PS Vita, we can now finally install our customized VPK. So let's go onto our UXO, let's scroll all the way down and it's the updated version. So what we're going to do um, is actually install this because the one on my home screen right now, this will be replaced by the new icons just by installing it. So let's just press X, X again to install the package. And now we just need to wait a few seconds while it installs. And then once it's finished installing, let's close out of Vita Shell and let's check out the new icon. So there we go, we've got our new Doom icon. If we tap on it, we've got our new background image and our new start image. So I like that, it looks a lot cooler than the old one and you can drag it around. And the cool thing is, they're really easy to replace. So yeah, that is pretty cool. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Also the games um, still work just perfectly the same. Um, thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.